I received my total artificial heart September 19, 2011, and I received my heart transplant January 2012. I received my total artificial heart December the 20th, 2013, and my heart transplant January 2014. We've all, my family's always been close um, prior to this, but um, even now we're even closer. You know, he's a lot younger, he's got a family, and um, it definitely, would, it's been harder seeing him go through it, but I was able to help him go through it because I'd been through it, so he knew what to expect, where when I went through it, I didn't know what to expect. Experiencing it with her firsthand when she was going through it, we were very scared for her, but when it came to two years later and I was diagnosed with heart failure, as soon as I needed something that was right there, the comfort, you know, you can't ask for anything better than your mother to be your, your resource or your support mechanism. And I, I remember many a time just picking up the phone probably and start crying, but um, I think the biggest thing that I've taken away from the whole ordeal is that, that the preventative part, wow, you know, I've got heart disease and what caused this? I didn't make priority, my health. Poor decisions on eating, um, not exercising correctly, because I think you can fix a lot of the stuff and you, know, you don't have people at 34 having to get a heart transplant. I just hope the people that see this video will take in that if they are not an organ donor already, that they might think about becoming one. There are so many donors needed to have people like us live. And that's the best gift you can give anybody is life. I've been given the second chance and um, and that's really opened my eyes and it makes me want to slow it down and really enjoy it because it makes you appreciate what you have now.